adjusting overlapping dimensions. Uh, if we're using the QDIM command, I mean, the, excuse me, the DIM command, the new DIM command, and it recognizes that one dimension is right over the top of another, it overlaps on top of another, it'll automatically ask you for some options. So here I have an existing dimension. I'm going to go up to the DIM command. I'm going to pick on this center of this arc and I'm going to pick on this end point. And I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to snap to the end of that dimension line and I pick and it'll give me four different ways to do this. Uh, it'll do move away, break up, and replace or none. It could leave it like that which I don't think you want to do. So the first one will say move away. When we move away then it moves away the original original dimension. Uh, I'm going to undo that and let's do that again. I'm going to go up to the dimension. I'm going to pick on the center point of the arc and the end point. I'm going to snap right on the end of that dimension line and I'll say let's choose breakup as a way of handling the overlapping dimensions. So when I break it up it forces the two then to are on their own side uh, of the line here so it changes this dimension it was 8.08 .08, and now it changed that so I'm going to undo that and let's go with the third method and so now when I go up to the dim command I'm going to pick on this uh, circle uh, this center of the arc and the end point I'm going to snap right on to the end of the line to make sure I have it overlapping. And my last choice is to replace. And so when I replace it, it eliminates the original uh, dimension then. And let's undo it. Let's do the fourth option. And so I'm going to go up to the dim command. I'm going to pick the center, pick the end point, snap right on to the end point. And snap right on the end point of that line and I'm going to say none and none just leaves it stacked overlapped on top of each other so in this particular case of the options that I liked I like the move away uh, which really was baseline so let me do that one more time here I'll pick and I'll pick and I'll pick and I'm going to just say move away. I think that's the the best scenario here uh, and then we of course added some dimensions here and I'm going to hit enter and this is our best uh, look here. Of course you could use some dimension editing here uh, which is a separate video but I could clean this up a little bit but whenever we're using the dim command it allows for handling of overlapping dimensions they have to be right on top of each other and only the dim command doesn't work on any of the dim linerals except for the older commands.